praise the Lord. We are grateful, oh Lord, hallelujah. I am grateful, oh Lord, for all you have done for me, hallelujah. I am grateful. Oh, Lord, I am grateful, Lord, I am grateful, oh, Lord, hallelujah, I am grateful, oh, Lord, for all you have done for me. Hallelujah, I am grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful, Lord, we are grateful. Ah, Lord, we are grateful, Lord, we are grateful. I for all you have done for us. Hallelujah, we are grateful, oh Lord. Thanks, thanks, we give you thanks. For all you have done, we are so blessed, our souls has found rest, oh Lord, we give you thanks, we give you thanks, 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 we give you thanks. Thanks for all you have done. We are so blessed. Our souls has found rest. Oh Lord, we give you thanks. Somebody just go ahead and thank the Lord. The Lord has blessed us. Innumerable times in, with innumerable blessing, he has saved our souls, he has kept us. Let us thank him. God has given us rest from trouble, giving us rest from trouble. He has given us rest from chaotic situation. The Lord has helped us. The Lord has provided for us. The Lord has been there for us. He has fought our battles. Even the battles that we don't know, the one that we don't, we're not even aware of, let us just appreciate him. Thanks, thanks. That's all we give him now. We give you thanks, O God, for all you have done, all you are doing, and all you are going to do. We appreciate you, our Father. Our King, we celebrate you. We say thank you, Father Lord. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, ancient of days. Let us thank him for what he has done, even within these 72 hours. Solemn Assembly, Rehobo 2020, let us appreciate him for what he has done. Because I tell you, your destiny has been rewritten. There are things that have been changed even in the, in, in, in the spiritual realm and in the physical realm. You want to lift your voices and just begin to thank him for what he has done. Even from, uh, from the time we started on the, the two days ago, and now we are here on the third day. The Lord has done great things. The last day, Masi Karababa. Of this year, of this year, let us thank him. And Father, I thank you, O oh Lord, for all you have done. You have done great things. You have done wonderful things. You have done glorious things. You have done unimaginable things. And now I want you to thank him for what he's about to do even in this section. 
and the remaining section, and even the, in the remaining day, this today, today, what the Lord wants to do in your life, he's going to do. You want to just say thank you. Father, we thank you. I thank you, O oh Lord, for all you are going to do. Even in this section, O oh God, I'm thanking you, O oh God, for all the sections that are left, O oh God. And, and even, Lord, before midnight today, I'm thanking you for what you are going to do. Blessed be your name, O oh Lord. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. You are worthy, our Father. Glory and majesty be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Eternal, immortal, invisible, we have come before you. We glorify your name for who you are. Daddy, we have come this afternoon, oh God. Father, Lord, even to pray for strength to do the supernatural, supernatural exploits, oh God. Father, we ask in the name that is above every other name that you will answer us speedily. In the name of Jesus, as many of your children that are hungry, that are thirsty to do the ex exceeding, to do exceeding abundantly above what any man, anybody can think or imagine. I ask, oh God, that Jehovah, you will release that auction, that power, that grace, that might, oh Lord, even as we pray, even as we go into your word this afternoon, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, O Most High, Spirit of the Living God, glory be to your name. Thank you for the auction. Thank you for the presence. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to, you know, say the Lord is your strength. We give him praise. We are almost there. Praise the name of the Lord. It was just like yesterday. In the next couple of hours, we will say 72 hours. Is, uh, 72 hours is already gone for those on the dry fasting. And for those on the daily fasting, in the next couple of hours, you are saying you have completed the third day fasting. Glory and honor be to his holy name in the name of Jesus. This afternoon, we are looking at strength to do the superna supernatural exploit. Strength to do supernatural exploit exploit. Praise the name of the Lord. And we'll see this in the book of Daniel, chapter 11, verse 32. Daniel 11, verse 32, where it says, They that those that know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. And I remember one of our sisters said, some, somebody told her and said, so those who don't know their God, they will be greatly exploited. Because they say we shall do great exploit. So that means those who don't know their God, they will be greatly, greatly exploited. Sama, uh, if there's anything that you, we don't want is to be exploited. It's not a good way of life. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't want to be exploited. I do not want to be exploited. But I want to do exploit. And so, you know, that scripture, he said, hey, those that know their God, they are the ones who we do exploits. So to do exploit means, you know, to do the extraordinary things. Things that, you know, is not common. Things that, is, uh, that are unusual. And now we are saying it's supernatural. 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 Like when Lazarus came out, you know, that power that brought Lazarus from, from the grave. That is a supernatural, a man that has been dead for more than one day, more than two days. And Jesus got to the tomb. He didn't even know, no, he wasn't too much, you know, he wasn't dancing around. He wasn't jumping and calling. He just got there and he told them, roll the stone away. And as they rolled the stone away, even the son was saying, by now he stinketh, master. If you had come two days ago. Our brother would have lived. But now you, have, you, 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 you decided not to come. You know, when we are expecting you. And now he's thinking. And he just told them, he said, if you believe, you will see. The power of God said, yeah, yeah, I know. And then, roll the stone away. He told them, roll the stone away. And they rolled the stone away. And he said, Lazarus. He said, Father, I thank you. Because you hear me. Lazarus, come forth. In the name that is above every other name. The power to do supernatural exploits is landing on you in the mighty name of Jesus. As you thirst for it, because it's not for everybody. Praise the name of the Lord. It's not for everyone. Oh, Pastor Margaret, why are you talking like this? If we, you know, is, we, will everyone be a pastor? Will everyone be a, 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 a minister? No. 
Because when Jesus, when he was living, he said in his word, he said, greater works than I have done, you will do. He didn't say pastors. Greater works that I have done, you will do. He didn't say bishops, reverend. He didn't say ministers. He said, every, every child of God, if you are born again, you carry fire. If you are a child of God and you are living right, you qualify to carry exploit, to do exploit. Joseph, when he just had his dream, he was a teenager. He was not a pastor. He was not a reverend, but he was a child of God. God singled him out. Praise the name of the Lord. So it's not about, you know, uh, you know, I have to be. And I'm so grateful to God because God has shown himself that indeed that scripture is greater words than I do. He said we will do. We have seen sisters, just member sisters in Nigeria, life story, that are sisters in the church. They are not even workers. And lay, she lay hand on, on a dead person and that person got back to life. Praise the name of the Lord. We have seen a grandmother that, the, that, the, that the, her daughter died. We have heard about it. A grandmother that her daughter died and at birth with twins. And she carried, you know, the, 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 the handkerchief and the, 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 uh, the, the general overseer, our father in the Lord, blessed. And she went there and she got to the hospital. And she went to the children and said, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't waste time. Don't waste time in the name that is above every other name. The two twins came back to life. The daughter that was there came back to life. Praise the name of the Lord. She was not a pastor. She was not an ordained pastor. She was not a bishop. She was not a reverend. She, was, she is a child of God. Praise the name of the Lord. So I'm not talking to pastors alone. I'm not talking to ministers. I'm talking to every believer, every child of God. There is a gift in you that qualifies you to, to do exploits. Praise the name of the Lord. So Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. He said, and as such as do wickedly against the covenant, shall he corrupt by flatteries. He said, but the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploit. So to do exploit, that means we have to know, not the word there, the people that know their God. The people that know their God, the people that know their God, they shall do what? They will do exploit. Praise the name of the Lord. So we need to know this God in order to do exploit. Because the power is coming from him. The grace, the anointing to do exploit is coming from him. But we find out that it is, you know, a lot of people, it is possible to know the Lord, but we don't, do we really know him? Do, we, do you really know him? Because a lot of people say, well, I know God. Well, yeah, we know God, but how much of him do we know? Praise the name of the Lord. To know this God, to really know him, for, those, for, you know, for anyone on the line that is not born again, you have not uh, confessed Jesus, as your Lord and Savior, you must first have that encounter. You must have that encounter. The, the encounter of salvation. You must encounter him. You must accept him. You must confess him as your Lord and your Savior. And then forsake your sin. And then begin to spend quality time with him. And then you know him. For somebody this, this afternoon that is online... I want to say to you, if you have not acknowledged Jesus, if you have not accepted him as your Lord and Savior, there's an opportunity this afternoon, this minute, because it is, it is true, it is through our Lord Jesus that we get to God. He was the one that paid that price at Calvary, shared his own blood. So you want to cry to him this afternoon and say, Lord Jesus, I ask for your mercy. I ask, for your I ask for your forgiveness. I know I have been doing it my way, but from this time, 
I ask you to come into my life, into my heart, and be the Lord over my soul in the name of Jesus. I confess all my sin and I renounce them in the name of Jesus. And I break my covenant with the devil in the name of Jesus. And I say from this time, Lord Jesus, I accept you as my personal Lord and my Savior. Begin to reign in me, begin to rule me in the mighty name of Jesus. If you say that prayer, I pray for you this afternoon that your sins are forgiven in the mighty name of Jesus. And that as the Lord live it, as you keep yourself in plunge into that vine, we will see you. I will see you in heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. So it is in Jesus' name. So we need to know him. We need to know him. How do we know him? You know, we have to spend time in communication and fellowship with him. Communication and fellowship with him. Praise the name of the Lord. Some people will say, you know, I, I know Pastor Margaret. And when they say, oh, what do you know about Pastor Margaret? Oh, I know, I know she's, you know, w w uh, one of the pastors at uh, Citadel of Restoration. And I know that she has three boys. And then some people, when they say Pastor Margaret, they say, ah, I know Pastor Margaret. In fact, I know her very well. I know the school that she went to. I know, the, you know where she graduated from. I know this. I know that. And then you find out that some people, is the relationship that you have with people that will make them come into your bedroom. Not everybody comes to your home and enter your bedroom just like that. No, it's not possible. Some strangers, uh, some visitors, when they come, in fact, they won't, you won't even open your, past your first gate before you say, you know what? You are not welcome here. Praise the name of the Lord. For some, you will just, you know, open the door and bring them in and say, oh, sit down, then you talk and you leave. But for some people, when they come, when they come, if you are in your bedroom, they just, you know, you just tell them to come up and they just come up to your bedroom or come into your bedroom. Praise the name of the Lord. So, so it's different experience, experiences that people have in relationship. Relationship is very deep. Is the deeper you go that you know that person better. You know their attributes. You know what turns them on. You know what they don't like. In fact, if you are going to conduct a surprise birthday for them, you look for the person that is very close to them. If it's a surprise birthday that you don't want the, both the, the husband and the wife, because you can use the husband to, you know, to get information about you know, his wife. But if you, don't, you need information that you don't want the two of them, you look for, you think and say, who are close to these people? Who know the color of the cake that this lady will, will like? Who knows the color of her dress, what she will want, you know, her taste, and things like that. And such people will be able to tell you. And by the time, you know, the celebrants get there, even with the surprise party, they will be surprised that, wow, it must be somebody that really knows us. And that is why they say, if the death within doesn't kill you, the death outside might not kill you. Because it's those who know you that can plot, you know, such, a, a, you know, a coup. So what we are saying is that we need to spend time. We get to know him as we spend time. We get to know him in fellowship, in fellowship, in his presence, getting to know him. We just sit down there alone with him. Friendship, having that communion. I know it is not easy. You can say, Pastor, I don't, you don't understand. I know it is not easy. But it is, it, 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 is, it is something that we need as we go into this new year. I don't want to be an ordinary Christian. I don't want to be an ordinary Christian. I want to do, go beyond the natural and begin to you know, operate from the supernatural level. Praise the name of the Lord. Our world needs answers. There is trouble in the nation all over. And the Lord is counting on you, counting on me to do great things. Praise the name of the Lord. So we need to know him. And then we get, we get to know him better as we listen to him when he speaks to us. I have, you know, you have, you have a close friend. Your close friend is one of the people that can sit you down and just talk to you and tell you, mm -mm -mm -mm. you, you missed it this time. 
And because of the closeness, you are able to listen. It's the same thing. It's the same thing with our God. Our God is the one that knows us. He knows what we need. And as we spend that quality time, as we begin to communicate with him, he will now begin to listen to him. He begins to tell us. He begins to decode things into our lives, into our memory that will set us aside. We get to know him more because we need strength. Those that know their God, those that know their God, the people that know their God. He said the people, the people, the people, man, woman, boy, girl, the people that know their God. We are getting into the era in the name that is above every other name. And I tell you, and I stand on this altar, and I want you to quote me. One of some of our teenagers, in our very present eyes, our teenagers, the Lord will begin to use them to do exploits. That will begin to amaze people. Praise the name of the Lord. Our children, they don't have to be young adults before they carry fire. They already carry fire in them. And we are going to begin to pour out into them. And they will begin to go in their community and begin to pray. There will be solutions in our generation in the mighty name of Jesus. We get to know him also by speaking to him. We talk to him, you know, on, concerning everything, concerning everything. We have that fellowship with him, with him. We get to know him by speaking to him. You can check Daniel chapter 6, verse 10. We get to know him by speaking to him. Daniel chapter 6, verse 10. And we get to know him by observing his, you know, uh, by speaking to him. We get to know him by observing his ways, his ways. What he has done, what he has done, how he does things. And this will only come as we, you know, make time to study about him. Praise the name of the Lord. To study the word. We cannot overemphasize this. In 2021, we will study the word like never before in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to know him and the power and the fellowship that he carries. So knowing him is what will make you strong. Hallelujah. Knowing him is what will make me strong because as we begin to know him, you become stronger. Your faith begins to sharpen. Something in you begins the, ri the rivers of living waters that the Bible says, it says, out of your belly, out of my belly shall flow rivers of living waters. They begin to bubble. They begin to do the work which they are already in there, in there to do. So knowing him is what will give us that strength, that ability to do exploit. Praise the name of the Lord. Because if you don't know him, then you know who God is. And that was why he was able to tell the king. He said, give us a couple of days before you kill, uh, you know, just give me time before you kill the astrologers and all the rest. Let me talk to my God. A man had a dream. He was the one that dreamt, dreamt, dreamt dream his own dream. And he was the one that, you know, is asking somebody to interpret the dream that he dreamt. Does that make, is it logical? Praise the name of the Lord. Even my own husband cannot, you know, tell me my own dream. Because he was not the one that dreamt. I am the one that dreamt. I am the one who is supposed to know what I dreamt. I'm praying. But the king is asking. I, I can't remember the, my dream. But I need somebody to tell me. Hallelujah. This is what we are talking about. Daniel knew. He knew who is God. He is. And he was able to say, give us some times. And then he called unto God. And God decoded that dream. It still amazes me. I still salute this God. And I'm still saying to you, your best is yet to come in the name of Jesus. He was able to decode the exact dream. And by the time he finished, <sighs> heaven and heart applauded him. In the name that is above every other name, you will begin to do unusual exploits. We are talking of supernatural exploits, not ordinary exploits, not just healing headache. We have passed that stage. 
in the name that is above every other name. We are going into more deeper things in the name of Jesus. Things that will bring souls to the kingdom of God. Things that will announce your destiny. Things that will make life easier for you. Make e life easier for humanity in the mighty name of Jesus. And so we need to, it's when we know him that it will make, you know, it will get stronger. When we are strong, then we can do exploit. Hallelujah. When we are strong, we can do exploit. We will become, you know, we'll become stronger in our power to meet and overcome temptation. Our confidence in him starts to increase. And that will send us out. Praise the name of the Lord. So because of our time, how do we do this? How? How? How do we receive strength for experts? Supernatural experts. One way is by prayer. We begin to pray like never before. By witnessing. Praise the name of the Lord. By prayers. By prayers. Elijah prayed. He said, there shall be no rain. And there was no rain. Ha. He said, until I say there will be rain, there shall be no rain. And he prayed. And the, his word came to power. He said, at my word. At my word. He didn't even say at the word of God. He said, at my word, there shall be no rain. Until I say there will be rain again. And the Lord honored it. The Lord will start to honor your prayers like never before in the name of Jesus. And another way that was, you know, to do exploit, to become stronger and start to do this exploit is in Matthew chapter 17, verse 21. Matthew 17, 21. Jesus said, this kind, this kind does not go away except by praying and fasting. He said, by praying and fasting in the name of Jesus, 2021, I will not just eat throughout the year. Thank God for food all over where we are in our community. You can't go in any neighborhood. Food is all over. Even in our homes. But Lord, we need to tell this belly. Sometimes, hold on. Because those who are going to do exploits must be ready to wait upon the Lord. Must be ready to fast. Praise the name of the Lord. We must have the knowledge of the times and season. Daniel had knowledge of time and season. He knew that it was time for their deliverance. He called for the 21 days fasting. Uh, 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 fasting. Despite the fact that the enemy tried to hijack him, he still prevailed. Praise the name of the Lord. You can do this, even be, do exploit as you praise and worship the Lord. As you will praise and worship the Lord. If you worship her, I tell you, welcome on board. Praise the name of the Lord. In Acts of the Apostles chapter 16, Acts of the Apostles chapter 16, verse 25 and, uh, to 26. Actually, you can read it up to, uh, up to uh, the, the, you know, the end of that verse. We see Paul and Silas. They were there, the Bible recorded that they were in chains. But these people, when they started praising the Lord, when they started worshiping, the, 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 the chains fell off. The jailer had to say, ah, he was going to kill himself by the power of worth, praise and worship. I will stop there so that we can start to pray this afternoon. And I tell you, for as many as are hungry, as many as that are, are hungry for the power of the Holy Ghost, you will receive it in the name of Jesus. Because it cannot come except we, you know, we are baptized with the, with, with the Holy Spirit. It's what we carry, the Holy Ghost in us. The power of the Holy Ghost that will come, you know, upon us. And the first thing that we are going to pray for this afternoon is excellent spirit. An excellent spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. An excellent spirit. David had an excellent spirit. An excellent spirit was found in De Daniel. In Daniel. An excellent spirit was found in Daniel. And that excellent spirit made him to not just be ordinary. That spirit guides him. That spirit was the one that was doing the work, the wonders. Because he did not just stop at interpreting you know, that, that dream. 
the dream of he went again you know, and even after the, the, that king died, his son got into power and he saw a writing on the wall. He interpreted it again. Praise the name of the Lord. He did so many exploits during his time. An excellent spirit was found on him. And you are going to cry to the Lord even this afternoon in the name that is above everything. You are going to say, Father, let your excellent spirit come upon me. Fill me with an excellent spirit, O oh Lord. Fill me, O oh Lord, with an excellent spirit. I cry to you this afternoon. We say it comes by prayer. Brother, you are going to pray wherever you are. You are, you are going to open your mouth and you are going to speak. You are going to ask. You are going to ask him, Father, in the name that is above every other name, O oh Lord. Father, let an excellent spirit come upon me. An excellent spirit, let it come upon me. Ma sokora ma shika talaba. Le brande ka santoria ma makuri ma shikete. Le brande korobobo urumo kondora baba shika talaba. Ma satara karaba. Le brande ma sikete le broko shindara baba. Fill me, O God. Ma son torobo with an excellent spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, fill me with an excellent spirit. Lord, fill me with an excellent spirit. You are going to cry to him. Father, fill me with power and with your spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, fill me with power. Fill me, O oh Lord, with your power. With your power and your spirit. Let the power of the Holy Ghost come upon me. Mo katore kende lebro like never before. Ma shi katarababa libra kasende lebo. Ma si tende ke lebro kukuri ma shi katalaba. Let an excellent spirit come upon me. Mo konde lebro kosondo robo. Fill me, Lord, with your power, with your spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Fill me, Lord, with your power, with your spirit. In the name of Jesus. In Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2. Isaiah verse 11 Chapter 11, verse 2, he said, And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, and the spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of God. You are going to cry to the Lord, Father, let the spirit of the Lord rest upon me. Your spirit of wisdom, your spirit of understanding, your spirit of counsel, your spirit of might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Masa kare kendele bro, ma koromo sunto robo shika karaba, ra kendele bro kusunto ri ama mandeke le bro, ma kende ri brakasanda raba. Oh Lord, my Father, ma sike tele bro. Let your spirit, the spirit of the Lord, rest upon me. The spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of might, the spirit of knowledge and of your fear. In the mighty name. Of Jesus, Makorebo Shindaraba, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Excellent spirit, what does he do? That spirit, <laughs> that excellent spirit is what announces you, is what announces a man. It was the excellent spirit in Daniel that announced him. That spirit announced him. That excellent spirit in, in, in Daniel announced him. And, you know, he's announcing him and even the three Hebrew boys that he was a foreigner. He was a slave, a slave in Babylon, but yet a tenant high position, even in a strange land. And I said to somebody, that thing, that everything that you have been running after will begin to run after you. When an excellent spirit is found in you, you are going to cry to the Lord and say, Father, Father, in the name that is above every other name. Let your excellent spirit begin to announce me in the mighty name of Jesus. Let grace and glory announce me in the mighty name of Jesus. Because I have, you have asked for the excellent spirit and that spirit has come upon you. The spirit of knowledge, let that spirit now, let it, that grace and glory begin to announce you. Let that excellent spirit announce me, announce my children in the mighty name of Jesus. Rokobo shaka in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. 
are going to say, Father, whatever is in me, that it will hinder your excellent spirit. Ah, from this minute, let your fire consume in the name of Jesus. Whatever in what is in me, whatever is in me, that will hinder your excellent spirit from flowing freely. Let your fire consume now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your fire consume now. Father, whatever is in me, Makanda la Karibro Kosondo Robo, Re Kendele Brokosun Tarima Shikende, Rama Satande Kerebobo, that we hinder your excellent spirit in my life. Let your fire consume it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your fire consume it now in the mighty name of Jesus. You don't need anybody's announcement. When this excellent spirit comes upon you, he begins to announce you to the world. He begins to announce you to the world in the name of Jesus. You are going to cry to the Lord. You are going to say, Father, in Galatians, and uh, uh, Galatians 3.18, we were going to read that, but you're going to say, Father, from today, let no contrary spirit come upon me, interfere, to, uh, interfere in with me, or rule over me, or trouble me, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, from today, Father, from this minute, let no contrary spirit Come upon me, interfere with me, rule over me, or trouble me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, from today, from today, from this minute, make declaration, brethren. From today, let no contrary spirit come upon me. Interfere with me, rule over me, or trouble me in the mighty name of Jesus. From this minute, from this minute, let no contrary spirit, let no contrary spirit, let no contrary spirit, let no contrary spirit come upon me, interfere with me, rule over me, rule over me, or trouble me in the mighty name of Jesus. In, in the book of First Samuel, Chapter 16, verse 15. First Samuel, chapter 16 verse, uh, 16, verse 15. We see the account of... So, in that, in that, you know, in that, uh, in that, in that, this uh, scripture. First Samuel, chapter 16. Praise the Lord. Verse 15. Because when a contrary spirit... It's overpowering a man. It is a dangerous thing. In verse 15, he says, And saw, and saw servant said unto him, Behold, now an evil spirit from God troubleth thee. So that is why it is very important to pray that prayer, that from this minute, no contrary spirit will come upon you, will interfere with you, we rule over you. We trouble you in the mighty name of Jesus. Masakara kandelebro. Robra kashinte nebro kosondaraba. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. No contrary spirit. No contrary spirit. We have his way in my life from this minute. We have his way in your home, in your calling from this minute. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, O Most High. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. In Galatians chapter th chapter 3, I want to quickly see verse 18. Galatians chapter 3, verse 18. It says there, For if the inheritance be of the law, it is no more of promise, but God gave it to Abraham by promise. This excellent spirit is a promise. Praise the name of the Lord. It's a promise from the Lord. It's a promise. It's a promise. It's a promise. And we have to, if it's a promise from him that he will give us, he will endure us with power, then we need to, you know, to, to, to crave for it, to pray for it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you and we give you glory for what you have done, for an excellent spirit has been found in us. We give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Your gift, the gift of a man, is what speaks for him. That gift is what gives you the ability, gives me the ability to even do exploits, to do great exploits. 
not usual exploit. It was the gift. The gift. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So it was the gift of Joseph that spoke for him. That spirit spoke for him. That spirit was the one that carried him. The spirit of dreams and interpretation of dreams. You know, these this gifts, they can come in various ways. Some is the gift of healing. Some is a gift to just, you know, be able to, to find solution, to decode difficult matters. For some, it's just going to be financial gift that you just look and you are able to, you know, have ideas, get ideas that can make people, you know, bring finances. So the gift of a man can, you know, will, will enable him. He will make room for him. The gift of a man will make room for him. But for some of us, we have not even identified our gift. You are going to cry to the Lord this afternoon and say, Father, in the name that is above every other name, let me identify my gift. For those who have already identified their gift, you are going to pray that, Father, thank you because I have, uh, you know, I have identified, begin to thank him for making you to identify those gifts. For, but for those who have not identified their gift yet, you want to cry to the Lord, help me, Lord, help me, help me, help me, Holy Spirit, let me identify my gift from now in the mighty name of Jesus. For some of us, it's a gift of talking. You have the, the grace of God that when you speak, people listen to you. That is a gift. That is a gift. When you go into counseling, such people go into counseling, they will begin to wonder. People that have gone all over, they have listened to counsel from different people, but there is no solution. All of a sudden, they get to you. The power of the Holy Ghost working in you. The gift of God working in you. You will just begin to speak counsel in the right direction with the action of the Holy Ghost. And they begin to wonder. And before you know it, the next person comes. The next person comes. The next person comes. That is the gift of a man. Praise the name of the Lord. So you have to identify your gift. You have to identify your gift because your gift will announce you. Your gift will make room for you. Your gift will make room for you. Your gift will make room for you. And so you are going to tell the Lord now, Masaka in my gift that has been lying down, follow. Oh yeah, in the name of Jesus. For those who have identified their gift and those who have prayed, the Lord will begin to unveil to you what those gifts are. You are going to begin to say that, that those gifts, they my gift begin to speak for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to speak for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Roma sikataraba makandele bro kosundaraba rokondala mama shikentele bro robronda kosunto rima makandala baba rekekere bo sundaraba makoro bo sunto rima ma. God has put a gift in you. God has put a, 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 a talent in you. In everybody that God created. There are gifts that are embedded. That those gifts are to make our life yeah, fulfilled so that we can fulfill cancer. They are here to help us to thrive through this time. You know, as we journey on a, 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 on a journey on planet Earth, you want to ask the Lord that in the name that is above every other name, from this minute, I find my gift, those, you know, and I ask, oh God, that the gift, oh God, begin to fulfill the purpose in the mighty name of Jesus. Let my gift, my kalaba, roko robo shindaraba, begin to make room for me in the mighty name of Jesus. My gift begin to make room for me in the mighty name 
name of Jesus. Roma Kasakandaraba. Rebrande Kekere Bobo Sondorobo. Those gifts are to make us successful. To make us be successful in our calling here. Makora Mama Sende. Your gifts are to give us idea. Those gifts are to give you idea to the plans of God. To the plan, plan that God has for you. Makiri Machine Terebo. That he desires that we use those gifts to glorify him. To glorify him. So you must identify. You must identify. In Acts of the Apostles chapter 6 verse 8, he said, and Stephen, Acts of the Apostles chapter 6 verse 8, and Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and signs among the people. Among the people. So your gift may be spiritual. Like praying, teaching, or encouraging others. Some have that gift that, oh, you know, all they need to do is talk. And somebody will be encouraged. Some have the gift to intercede, praying. Some have the gift to teach. The same topic that somebody has taught that nobody understood. They just start teaching. And before you know it, the answer. For some, is the ability to solve complex problems. Organizational skills. Athletic ability. is a talent. It's a talent. That gift, that talent is to announce you. Because that gift will, will announce you to the world. It will announce you to the world. It will take you to places. Praise the name of the Lord. It's a gift. It's a gift. I remember, you know, one of us that has a gift to run. It was that gift that took him to, you know, the day he went to Harvard. And he, he, he went to the other competition at, at Harvard University. That gift was speaking for him. And then when people now ask and say, wow, as young as you are, how this thing, he still attributed the glory to God, that I just thank God. And then they still begin to question, God, praise the name of the Lord. And you begin to witness, that is what that gift is supposed to do. And before you know it, that gift will begin to speak for you in the name of Jesus. So the gift can be various, it can be, it can be financial, it can be financial, it can be physical. It can, it can be, you know, you can, you can make it to, to, for you to begin to see things. You know, you dream and you see visions and you see dreams. And you, you, as, you know, as you see it, you begin to, you know, have understanding. And begin to say, ah, this is what the Lord is saying. This is, you know, the direction God wants us to go. And people wonder and say, ah, you say, is this how it works? You are going to cry to the Lord. Because that, that gift will begin to speak for you in the name of Jesus. You are going to say, Father, I will not die with my gift, without using my gift. I will exhaust, oh God. I will do supernatural exploit in the mighty name of Jesus. Makorima shindora makumba ya kasekende, libranda kasondo robo, makatendele brokosuntaria baba, makere brokosuturo kombo hikandaraba. I will not die with my gift. Makoria mashinderebo, the talents, the gifts that you have embedded in me. I will use it to the utmost. I want you to begin to cry to the Lord because as you are praying that those gifts should come to a lie, you will see it will start to come as you have identified it and you begin to use it in the mighty name of Jesus. You are going to pray and say, my gift, my gift will take me to the right place in the mighty name of Jesus. Let my gift begin to take me to the right places from this minute in the mighty name of Jesus. The gift of Joseph took him to the palace. The gift of Joseph took him to the palace let my gift take me to my to take me to my palace in the name of Jesus my gift will take me to the right places in the mighty name of Jesus you are going to pray I reject redundancy I refuse to be useless I refuse to be useless I refuse to be useless useless I reject redundancy I refuse to be useless my life shall not be a waste in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. In the name of Jesus. The gift of a man makes way for him. You are going to say, I command. Let my gift begin to make way for me. In the name of Jesus. The gift of a man makes way for him. My gift in the name of Jesus. Begin to make way for me. Begin to make way for me. Begin to make way for me. In the name of Jesus. 
begin to make way for me. In Jesus' name. Power, you are going to cry to the Lord and say, I receive wisdom again. I receive understanding I to, I, um, to subdue all competitors in the mighty name of Jesus. To subdue every enemy, every enemy, every enemy of my talent, of the manifestation of my gift in the mighty name of Jesus. And you are going to decree, I shall be preferred above others from now in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 28 verse 13, and the Lord shall make thee the air and not the tear. Makande, rabraka sekete. Begin to declare it. I shall be preferred above others in the name of Jesus. Rokande lebroko sontorobo. Daniel masikata. Ribrande was prepared above others in Babylon. Moko tandari kababa. Rima shikatandelebo. Makendele yababa kurima sendelebo. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are going to receive anointing. Because you see, hmm. In Jeremiah chapter 119, Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 19, he said, and they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to deliver you. So we are going to receive, you know, how do you, you receive anointing to excel above your contemporaries in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive that anointing now. Like we say, I Father, I receive the anointing to excel. Makanda Libra can say, he said, you shall be the head and not the tail above my contemporaries in the name of Jesus. Makorobo sun to rima in the name of Jesus. You are going to cry and say, oh Lord, catapult me into greatness as you did for Daniel in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, Catapult me into greatness as you did for Daniel in the mighty name of Jesus. Maseke telebro, makorobo shindaraba, ribrande kasantaraba, maseke telebo sundorobo in the mighty name of Jesus. And you are going to pray because you see, for, for those who have the gift of dreams, uh, you know, the enemy is always fighting these people. They wake up, they can't remember those dreams. Hmm. You are going to cry to the Lord and say, dreams, dream chiefs, assigned to steal my dreams and I bought my miracles. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Dream chiefs, assigned to steal my dreams, assigned to abort my miracles. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Dream thieves, they are demons and they are powers. They are powers, Master assigned to steal my dreams and abort my miracles. You are a liar. Die in the mighty name of Jesus. It was in the dream that the Lord appeared unto Jacob, gave him the clue that liberated him from bondage and hardship in the house of his father-in-law. Ah, if he didn't remember those dreams, if you didn't remember what the Lord gave him in the dream, if the attacker, the dream thieves, the, 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 the arm robbers, a dream arm robbers, if they are, you know, uh, that has been assigned to, to, to him, did not allow him to remember, how would he have been successful? So you are going to pray that dream, uh, that prayer one more time. You are going to say, dream thieves, assigned to steal my dreams and abort my miracles. I say you are a liar. Die in the mighty name of Jesus. Masikarababa. Rokombo shinderebo. Thank you, Jehovah. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. You are going to cry to the Lord and say, Lord, make me a sought, sought after. After. Father, let, let me be a sought after. In the name of Jesus. After, oh Lord. Make me, oh God. Let me. Let them. Let them be to sought for me, oh God. Ah. And as, his, as a problem solver in the name of Jesus, Masoko Robo Bosunto Robo, then they will begin to seek for you. They will begin to look for you and to begin to solve problems in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, make me a sought after. A sought after, oh God, Father, to a problem solver, Makorima Shinderebo, make me a sought for, a sought after, a problem solver in the mighty name of Jesus. They looked for Joseph. They looked for Joseph. They looked for Joseph. They sought for Joseph. Masikandaraba, Rokobo Shinderebo, make me a problem solver, a solver. Let them begin to look for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them begin to look for me. Masokorobo Shinderaba, Rokobo you are going to say, oh Lord, please order my steps. Order my steps to take me, oh God, to the place of my destiny. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Order my steps. 
Order my stead. Order my stead. Maseke terebo. Makorobo wo shindaraba. Roko sontorubo. In the name of Jesus. The anointing of God that has come upon you will begin to do exploit in the mighty name of Jesus. We begin to do exploit. You are going to say, Father, give me anointing. Father, anoint me afresh for signs and wonders. For signs and wonders. Makonda rakababa. Yibraka shekenderebo. Makori kalaba senterebo. Mande kelebro. Kosunto rima kashindele ya baba. In the name of Jesus. Ratenderebo. Rakasaka terebo. Masike telebro. Let it come upon me now. In the name of Jesus. You are going to say, Father, fill me with your Holy Spirit afresh. In the mighty name of Jesus. On a daily basis, I receive fresh action from the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Roko Santarama. You are going to say, Lord, let me witness restoration and the fruit, oh God, restoration of gift, oh God. The restoration, oh God, let me begin to witness now. The witness now. The restoration of gift and the fruit of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. Masokorobo. Mashikandalaba. Blessed be your name. You are going to say, I receive power. Because in this time and season, you cannot be ordinary. We need to do great supernatural exploit. I receive power to meet the needs of this present generation. In the mighty name of Jesus, I receive power. I receive power. I receive grace. I receive strength. I receive the ability and the courage to re I receive, oh Lord, to meet the needs of this present generation. In the mighty name of Jesus, this generation needs needs. Our times and, and season, it needs need. I receive power to be among those, oh God, Rakabashinderebo, who will meet the needs of this generation. In the mighty name of Jesus, Masekendelebro, let that power come upon you now. In the mighty name of Jesus, as many as are testing for that power, I say receive the power to meet the needs of this present generation. In the mighty name of Jesus, Robaka Shekete, Manda Kalibro Kosunto Robo, I pray for you, daughter of Zion, receive the power now to meet the needs of this present generation. This particular time and season, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you, Son of God. Receive the power to meet the needs of this present generation. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for all our children. Let the power of the Holy Ghost come upon them. Our teenagers, our young adults, to receive power to meet the needs of this present generation. In the name of Jesus, I hear in my spirit. Somebody say, I am an elder, Pastor. So I am not even, and I speak to our elders in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive power to meet the needs of this present generation in the mighty name of Jesus. We have heard and we have read of people in this nation at age 60, at age 70, when the Lord gave them an idea. And they didn't live for long after then, but we are still seeing what they did even there. I speak to our elders as many as desire the power to meet the needs of this president. I say receive in the mighty name of Jesus. There is no age limitations when it comes to our God. He is a God, a unique God. Masikataraba, rekendelebro, that can do exceeding abundantly. Glory and honor be to your name in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. I pray for each and every one that in the name that is above every other name from this time We'll begin to move. We'll begin to walk according to the order of God. Out of your bellies, let the living waters start to flow now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. We give you the glory. Where this gift is for your glory, for exploit, to deliver mankind. This gift is to populate the kingdom of God and depopulate air. Makoremo sundara baba. Yibrakashinderebo. Father, for your children, oh God, I pray over them right now, over their hands. Those hands we heal the sick. Those hands we go into the hospital and begin to lay hands, and people will begin to recover. In the name of Jesus, I speak to your brain. New ideas inside begins to come to you now. In the name of Jesus, Makanda Labrako Sunda Karibro Koshinderebo. I speak soundness into your heart to begin to deduce well. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. And the strength of God come upon you now for the supernatural, to do supernatural exploits. In Jesus' name, amen. The Lord bless you. Uh, the next section is going to be at three, and that will be the last section for this uh, time in the name of Jesus. And then we'll come back in the evening for the crossover, only communion service, and uh, the crossover service from 10 to 12 a.m. It's still going to be online and in the, in the physical uh, church. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord bless you. I will see you. I will hear from you. And we shall pray together again at the next section at 3 in Jesus' name.